poor verdant fool, and now green ice, thy joys, large and as lasting as thy perch of grass, bid us lay in gainst winter rain and poise their floods with an o'erflowing glass. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kyle, and welcome back to Bedtime Verses with Kyle. Just a little poetry to help you get ready for bed. Please follow me on my YouTube and get the blessed and action adventures said in Sestarima. I'll, uh, I'll let you look that up. Great. I've talked about it enough. Here we go. New poet, Richard Lovelace. 1618 to 1657. Another relatively young one. Uh, how does he compare to Abraham Cowley? 1358. Oh, dang. Young. Okay. The Grasshopper, to my noble friend, Mr. Charles Cotton. Oh, thou that swingst upon the waving hair of some well-filled oaten beard, drunk every night with a delicious tear, drop thee from heaven where now thou art reared. I think delicious tear. Drunk every night with a delicious tear, drop thee from heaven where now thou art reared. The joys of earth and air are thine entire, that with thy feet and wings dost hop and fly. And when thy poppy works, thou dost retire to thy carved acorn bed to lie. Up with the day, the sun thou welcomest to them, sportest in the gilt plates of his beams, and all these merry days makest merry men thyself and melancholy streams. But ah, the sickle, golden ears are cropped, Ceres and Bacchus bid good night, sharp frosty fingers all your flowers have topped, and what scythes spared, winds shaved off quite. Poor verdant fool! And now, green ice, thy joys, large and as lasting as thy perch of grass, bid us lay in gainst winter rain and poise their floods with an o'erflowing glass. <laughs> thou best of men and friends, we will create a genuine summer in each other's breast. In spite of this cold time and frozen fate, thaw us a warm seat to our rest. Our sacred hearths shall burn eternally, as Vesta flames, the north wind he shall strike his frost-stretched wings, dissolve and fly this Etna in epitome. Dropping December shall come weeping in, bewail the usurping of his reign. But when in showers of old Greek we begin, shall cry he hath his crown again. Night as clear as Hesper shall our tapers whip, from the light casements where we play, and the dark hag from her black mantle strip, and stick their everlasting day. Thus richer than untempered kings are we, that asking nothing, nothing need. Though lord of all what sees embrace, yet he that wants himself is poor indeed. Well, see that he want that wants himself is to be to my noble friend. Well, there you go. His friend the grasshopper. Apparently he uh, likes to frolic. And then winter comes along and it's terrible, which it is. And I'm about to enter on that right now. And I'm very, very upset. So uh, if anyone wants to set me up in Mexico from, say, December to March, you let me know. I'm in. I am in. Thank you, Richard Lovelace, for that. And with that, thanks again for joining me for Bedtime Verses with Kyle. You can follow me here, subscribe to my YouTube, and there'll be new readings every weekday night at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good night. Sleep tight.